For space lovers and space history aficionados, December is synonymous with Apollo 8. On December 21, 1968, NASA launched Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, and Bill Anders to the moon. The crew went into lunar orbit on December 24th and began their return trip to Earth on December 25th, splashing down on the 27th. It was arguably NASA's riskiest mission to date. It was only the second time astronauts had ridden inside the Apollo command module, and only the third time NASA had launched the mammoth Saturn V rocket. But there's another part of the story that often gets pulled in. The Soviet Union and Zond 5. Did Zond 5 push Apollo 8 to the moon? In August of 1968, NASA had a problem. The lunar module that was supposed to launch on Apollo 8 was falling badly behind schedule. Forward-thinking NASA managers had a contingency plan. If the lunar module wasn't ready to fly but the command module was, send just the command module on a circumlunar mission. The agency could gather valuable data without risking missing the end-of-decade lunar landing goal. And in August, it looked like the contingency plan was about to become the primary mission. Over the course of the month, NASA management, flight directors, and the team behind the spacecraft and the rocket all met and decided that yes, the mission was feasible. Feasible providing Apollo 7 was a success. Set to launch in the fall, Apollo 7 was a shakedown cruise of the command module. If this mission proved that the spacecraft was up to the two-week-long lunar mission, Apollo 8 would be go for the moon. In September, the Soviet Union launched Zond 5. It was an unmanned mission that went around the moon and came back. Unmanned, but it did have reptiles on board, and a life support system to keep them alive, suggesting that the Soviet Union was actually getting closer to sending cosmonauts to the moon. But more importantly, in October, Apollo 7 was a stunning success. The spacecraft performed beautifully, and NASA had very little doubt after that mission that Apollo 8 would be able to take the same spacecraft to the moon. Whether or not Zond 5 pushed NASA to send Apollo 8 to the moon is debatable, though it's likelier that it was a secondary factor rather than the primary reason. Apollo 8's lunar mission in December of 1968 happened in space. Is there anything else you'd like to see covered on the show? Leave a comment below.